Hey yo, welcome back to another video. Actually, let me not even say another video because I know it's been a long time, so please don't judge me for this. But yeah, we're back again. Wake up, babe. New sizes are just dropped right now. My name is Mukudzeim Lambo, and this is... I don't even know what to call it. I was, I was going to call it Zazis at 5, uh, but we've been cooking something as well that we want to call Sadza and Rap. Sadza and Rap, because Sadza and Rap, you know what I mean? Ah, it took, ah. Anyways, anyways, it's alright, man. It's alright. Back again in my living room and here to talk about new music. And guess who brought me out of the sabbatical? The one and only King Mambo from Sky City. Tafazo Tarukwana, aka. ASAF and is coming through with a slapper uh, back from a uh, sort of in a, a hiatus, so to speak. Um, it took a long time uh, to come through. He heard y'all, he heard y'all, me included. He heard y'all talking, talking reckless, talking reckless on the mumble's name. And he came with a new tune called Idolatry. And this one is incredible. <laughs> Man, like I felt like I was listening to old ASAP, and I hate using that term. I hate using old this and that, old that and that. You know what I mean? But it did feel like old ASAP. It felt like Kings Villa ASAP. It felt like um, uh, Prince Pin ASAP. It felt like all day ASAP. It felt like hungry ASAP. This man was on this record rapping like. Uh, a hungry rapping like a broke rapper rapping like uh rapping like a whack rapper you know i i i always say the most motivated artists in the country uh, are whack ones you know like uh, the, my favorite artists don't even drop music is this consistent you know what i mean uh, it's, it's the ones that that i think are not good artists that uh, drop bi-weekly you know what i mean like their music will find you <laughs> like they'll make sure they'll be there opening whatsapp groups and sending you all those records like you're about to find them out you know what i'm saying so yeah man it was i must say really really refreshing to hear um from asaf coming up he had a lot of quotables on this one he talks about faith he talks about uh the def gem uh label deal he talks about uh some throws throws some some some, some jabs there i, I don't want i don't want to insinuate uh, who he was throwing jabs to but it was just like really cool to see him coming back in his lyrical bag and i must say man this was a much needed uh return for asap i think uh it had come to that point where the the silence the silence without getting the music was getting louder and louder and louder and louder you know what i mean like it was deafening like people like, oh where's the album oh you know this deal was signed and look like i've even said in previous tweets and whatever like i i cannot assume what the intricacies of the def gem deal look like but i must say i you know as a fan i was like okay I, I i do need music man i do i do need music but people go through things man people go through things and he also talks about uh, those things that he was going through during during that period of uh, of silence, you know, uh, losing Calvin, which was uh, one of his closest friends and, and you know artists in collaboration, they've worked together numerous times, even had some back and forths, uh, as is in the rap game, you know how it goes. Um, and he even talks about you know his mental state uh, as well as he was recovering from the loss of Calvin, you know, he even juxtaposes it to um, the loss of uh, AKA uh, the South African rapper. So there's so much uh, that is to, 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 to unpack there, but I feel like what he did in just under four minutes uh, was able to remind us who he is, remind us what he's capable of, remind us where he's going, promised uh, a project, uh, uh, I think it's called uh, Free the Streets, uh, Feed the Streets, Feed the Streets, uh, coming soon and uh, it was it was really really dope man and one striking lyric that stood out for me on this record uh, I think it says uh, they say the boys finished I'm starting I'm starting it's my year they're looking they're searching for the king in the tomb but he's not there mm. <laughs> let's go boy let's go one of the hardest lines of 2023 I 
absolutely like the double entendre in there, the references to Mambo, the references to Jesus. And ah, listen, man, I'm not even gonna act like, oh, this is like super deep, super lyrical, but it's such a hard ass line that just came out there just to dead whatever conspiracies you might have about this guy and it's super 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 impressive and that's asap coming through with idolatry can't wait um, for new music coming through and i hope i'll be dropping more videos please do forgive me um yeah life gets in the way man life <laughs> life gets in the way and these things these things can get a little bit tricky but i'll try our best i'll try to be a little bit more consistent uh, dropping consistent for you guys that have stood with us and supported us as always with that being said i'm Mugutzaim Lambo. this is us shoot catch you on the next one